John Novatos, thanks again for tuning in to yet another video from us coming at you live from the West Coast yet again, San Jose, California. Just wanted to wish you guys a happy, happy Thanksgiving. Um, probably update you guys on what's going on as far as, I guess, my fuel efficiency. Looks like it's improved a little bit. I'm still, you know, doing some calculations, of course. Not entirely sure. Um, I have a bunch of videos that I have yet to upload on the channel. I've already edited them. I just haven't published them because I still have to work on the thumbnails. A majority of the videos will be the FXRT audio that you see here. This crazy setup that I have here on my bike. We have five and a quarter speakers. We have four inch speakers as well. We have a 600 watt amp. Um, you know, just madness, of course, Bluetooth uh, remote right here on the console, on the on the dashboard. Uh, crazy, crazy setup. Uh, you know, a long, long video. So I'm breaking it up in pieces, you know, making the holes, wiring, the amp, setting it up, connecting it. Just, you know, I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to break it down in segments for you guys to... Be able to you know just see what you need out of the video because there's just so much footage that I, that I record when I'm making these installs and a lot of the stuff I don't know I mean sometimes I, I think like man do, do people really know or people really have to see me connect this and couldn't do that and you know I'm just trying to cut the videos down so they're just not you know so long my my first few videos on the channel, my first few installs, I, I mean, I, I didn't really know what I was doing and I didn't really know how to edit. So, like, I believe my fairing install was like 50 minutes. 50 minute video. Nobody's gonna, you know, sit there for 50 minutes, watch the, my back uh, installing the video. So now I've, you know, you, you just kind of learn things and adapt things as you go. I've been doing this now for four years. Four long years over 700 videos hours and hours thousands of hours of editing publishing editing and uh, you know uh, thumbnails and all that other stuff and then of course the filming process when you're doing the uh, the jobs and it's just uh, when, whenever you're working or wrenching on the bike and then you're filming it you, you know it just takes twice to three times as long as it should you just add more time because you gotta position the camera. Sorry, you gotta position the camera. You gotta make sure there's enough light sometimes. You gotta, sometimes I'm doing something, I'm not even looking at the camera and the camera's off a little bit. It's, you know, it's facing my crotch or it's facing my foot and I didn't even film it. So now you gotta do it again. So uh, yeah, it just, the filming takes a long time. The editing, of course, I gotta watch all of my footage I gotta, I gotta rewatch all of my footage and then you know cut out and you know try to just try to shorten it as much as I can because this you know mess that you, have, you see here, the setup, the speakers and all of that, I think it was like man I'd say maybe six what well, five hours maybe maybe six hours in total because I did a lot of soldering, uh, you know I did a lot of measuring, make sure everything was even and you know perfect and look right of course I, I mean I want it to look right I'm you know it's my build it's my own bike so and then on top of that of course you rode it and then I I left the uh, the filtering turned off the low pass high pass and then I you know it, I didn't I, I wasn't liking how uh, how the speakers were sounding on on the uh, on the four inch so I had a I had to get it back underneath the amp and you know adjust the uh, the high pass and uh, you know get that sorted out so just yeah I mean you guys already saw the uh, the stage 2 playlist that's a long playlist another long playlist I was probably I'd say somewhere like maybe a 10 hour fi it's just filming 10 hours of filming maybe more than that 10 to 12 hours of filming and then the editing uh, I think it was another 8 hours of editing those videos so all in all, that stage two went from a seven to eight hour job to a 20 hour job. 
because of the editing and then of course the, the, the thumbnails and all it just takes forever and then of course right now I'm currently uh, painting the fuel tank finally getting around to the fuel tank for this bike it's the uh, the 2022 FXLR ST fuel tank it's a soft tail tank from uh, 2018 or 2019 soft tail tank uh, a slim I believe I believe it's a slim so um, you know it, it had some damage I went ahead and I, I repaired the damages it had a dent on both sides if you guys seen the the footage of course you guys could go on TikTok and see you know what I'm up to I, I've been I've been consistently uploading videos on TikTok now so if you're looking for like memes stuff to relate with you know Harleys motorcycles that's where I post uh, the content now I, I don't know I mean Instagram's cool and all but I, I wanted to try something else and TikTok just seems to have um, you know, the community a little bit more active I get more more feedback I get more comments on TikTok uh, so it just seems like TikTok is probably where I'm gonna be just posting on my social media of course people still reach out to me on Instagram and I try to, you know, reply as, as much as I can. It's just sometimes I'll, I'll go six days or a week uh, without logging into Instagram. And by the time uh, I log in, I, I, I'll realize that I have a message unread for like four days, five days, six days. So, uh, yeah, if you're looking for more content or if you're looking for a just you know just some fun Harley hating uh, videos because that's mainly what I post you could go on TikTok follow me there it's up to you um, what was I saying oh yes um yeah so I'm doing the TikTok thing I'm doing the videos I'm also painting um, the fuel tank for this bike I'm, I'm gonna be painting it finally getting around to it it just takes so long uh, the fuel tank right now I'm, I'm like halfway there and uh, that's so far how many hours do I have on that tank I think I have like 12 hours right now on the fuel tank and uh, I'm currently painting the lowers you guys saw I don't have the lowers on the FXRT so those, that's already flaked out and it's ready for for, for some fine lines so that's what I'm gonna do next or tonight and then I'm also, of course, I'm also building a, a new workstation, on another PC. So I'm just staying busy. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to balance, you know, all this other stuff, YouTube, social media, uh, you know, riding my bike, which I haven't been doing much, you know, lately. And then on top of that, I still have to install the 64 intake on, on the bike. I also got the injectors, you know, I finally got those. For a minute there, I thought they only sent me one. I was like, what the heck's going on? Because the injectors are just so tiny. They were wrapped up in, in paper. And I'm looking through it, I'm like, what the heck? They, they only sent me one, and then I went back on their website and it said a pair. Luckily, I didn't throw anything away, but I went back to the packaging. And uh, I mean, the injectors are just so tiny. I, I really thought they only sent me one. I was, you know, pretty frustrated because I was thinking, man, if they're only going to send me one for 160 bucks, I was better off going with fueling because I was considering getting the fueling injectors, uh, the 6.2, but uh, those were 300 bucks. Those were 300 bucks for the pair, the Screaming Eagle, which are pretty decent. I mean, they're still better. I mean, technically, I don't have to upgrade the injectors for what I have at stage two, but. Uh, you know, it's recommended for somebody that's pushing 120 horsepower at the wheel, which is what this bike's doing. It's doing 114 horsepower. You don't need it, okay? But, you know, it's... I'll just say one more thing on the injectors, because I'm, I'm starting to ramble. But, uh, yeah, the injectors, you can get them as, as huge as you, as you want. Uh, that number of the injector size, or how many you know gallons of, of fuel they push out, that's typically at 80% uh, of your throttle, 80 to 100%, and that's when you start seeing the, that uh, that performance. Of course, when it comes to the, the, the injector. So, 
if you got a you know if you got a 131 or whatever you have and and you think you need a little bit more fuel that's that's you know you you only get those benefits if you're doing 80% throttle to 100% just full throttle you know just like just full throttle stuff like that that's where you're gonna start uh, benefiting from the uh, from the bigger injectors of course but uh, anyways I you know, like I said I decided to get them high flow injectors uh, I believe there I, I think the the fuel it's gonna the fuel air mixture is a little bit better but even though I was looking at the uh, at the injectors it looks like it only has four four ports I think the fueling injector has six but uh, I was looking at the uh, the other Screaming Eagle ones that they have. I believe they're a 7.2, but uh, those aren't 50 state legal, so I wasn't able to get those. So I got the I got the next best, the 5.4, and they deliver like 24 more, 24 percent more than the than the stock OEM. So figured, hey, I already got a stage two. I ha I'm getting the the 64 intake from Screaming Eagle. You got to get it tuned anyways, right? So I figured, hey, I'll get the injectors and I'll get the intake because it has to get tuned anyways. Kill two birds with uh, with one stone. We'll see, you know, what kind of numbers the bike does because I do have the SNS. I have the SNS intake right now, and I don't know how much power it's putting out with the SNS intake. But I'm, I just I can't be spending 600 bucks every time to see the uh, the numbers I just uh, you know that six hundred dollars is a lot to me guys that's a lot of money to be you know trying different things out I mean the bike just the bike performs great stage two a lot of torque 475 so I you know I've been happy with it it's just don't you know the only thing that's hurting is my wallet because of my fuel range you know 23 miles per gallon city and 32 miles per gallon sorry 32 miles per gallon highway you know that hurts especially at uh, at uh, six dollars a gallon here in San Jose California anyways hey just thanks for tuning in happy Thanksgiving hope you guys uh, uh, a healthy and fulfilling holiday weekend with your family of course I'm gonna be spending uh, my holiday with my family all day of course so it's gonna be a Thursday of I guess taking a break from working on the bike painting uh, editing motor vlogging I, I think I'm still gonna have time I'm still gonna find time to uh, to ride that's that's 100% I'll probably do it in the morning that way I, I don't have that uh, that itch to get on the bike and that's pretty much what I'm doing today I, you know I'm I'm taking a break from from uh, from sanding, from painting, you know, from uh, airbrushing everything. I'm, this is this is my break right now. I, you know, I was I was prepping the fuel tank, and I just kind of said to myself, "Man, you know what? I, I'm gonna go on a ride." My hands are, you know, they're they're painted. Uh, you know what? It doesn't look that bad. You can see a little bit of paint there. Not that bad. They were full of just you know clear coat because I'm just sanding. I've been sanding for the last three hours, so get in on the bike. You know, it's just just good to take a break every once in a while and and uh, you know just ride. All right. So hey, once again, thank you guys. I, I'm very grateful you guys are are tuning in to watch the videos, and I know I'm I'm thankful you guys are supporting the channel by just watching and liking the video. And uh, stay tuned for a lot more content. I'm gonna try to get to the sports videos. That's one year in the making. All right, bicycles, get out there and ride. Later.